Hi, I'm Keno McGregor, and we're gonna take a look at how to jump back from sitting. This is one of the most challenging postures in the Ashtanga Yoga sequence. It took me four or five years to really figure out what the dynamics of this are. Daylene's gonna be my model today, and we're gonna break that down so you can try this right at home. The first key to jumping back is gonna to be to have a deep cross, a deep bend in the knees. So let's just work on that. Crossing your feet, Bring them as close into your chest as you possibly can. Bringing the knees close into the chest will help you compile yourself into a little small package. Just sitting, holding the knees into the chest may challenge the level of strength in the hip joints. If it does, you would wanna to try to hold this posture for maybe a few breaths each time before you try to jump back. Then, the most beginner version, easy way to work on the jumping back is to lean the weight of the body forward, placing the toes on the ground and walking your feet through your hands. Then, stepping all the way back into Chaturanga Dandasana, stretching out and bending your arms on the way down. Inhale, move into upward facing, and exhale, down. Now we're gonna take a look at what might be a second level modification for jumping back. This will actually be one of the hardest movements that you can do, and it's advised that you try this only after you've been practicing for a little while. It's not the first modification you do. So taking the hands forward of the hips, squeezing the knees into the body, inhale as you press forward, lifting the weight, coming onto one toe, placing one toe down. Now you could pause here, taking a good five or even 10 breaths if you wanted to challenge yourself. Then bending the arms, leaning the chest forward, slowly jumping or stepping the feet back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing. The next level of working on jumping back will involve combining that motion with a full jump. So make sure you take the hands forward of the hips, work on that tight little package, and inhale, pressing forward, come with one toe down, straightening the arms, feeling the weight leaning forward, then bend your arms and jump back, landing into Chaturanga Dandasana. Finally, when you're ready to try, after you can successfully do all of the modifications, you're ready to go for the full jump back. One of the biggest misconceptions I think you can see by now is that there's jumping involved in the jumping back. Instead, it's actually more like a slow, steady lean into your arms while you support yourself with your upper body with the strength of the lower belly and the strength of the pelvic floor. Right? Keep your mind steady. Take the weight forward and inhale, leaning forward, bending your arms as a pivot point to exhale, jumping back. Landing in Chaturanga Dandasana. I'm Kino McGregor and this has been How to Jump Back.